stuff sorted out. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another fantastic episode of My Orgasmic Life. I'm your hostess with the mostest, Gaia Morissette. And on today's show, actually before I get into what our topic we're going to cover today, today's um, episode is brought to you by Tickle.Life. <laughs> All right, so for everybody who's not uh, being able to see me, I am wearing, so this morning I went for a walk with my dog, and it's, what's the date today? It's April 9th, and I walked through a crazy snowstorm. Yes, snow. <laughs> so I decided that I was going to support spring and bring spring in, whether spring wanted to be here or not, um, by what I chose to wear today. So I'm wearing this beautiful uh, black gauze uh, dress that I got when I was in Mexico. I have big yellow flowers in my hair and I got my hair with two little pigtails on the top of my head. So I look just cute and adorable. And then if you can't see because of the light, I am covered in sparkles. <laughs> this was my like, this is how I'm going to deal with the fact that there's snowing. There's snow. It's snowing this morning on April 9th. <laughs> All right. So what I want to talk to you today in our show is about support teams and the importance of having support teams when you are going through places of distress, but also the importance of support teams while you are in a place of happiness as well, a celebration. And that you can't do it alone. So right now with the COVID-19 epidemic happening, um, you know, many, many people are in a place of isolation and um, are feeling very disconnected because of, you know, out of necessity for our own safeties and health. Um, but I want to lean in a little bit more into, did you have a team in place before this happened? I think that's really important that we can also figure out, and we'll talk, and I'm going to talk about how do we create that team and the importance of that team. And I'm going to share with you my team. Some of them are available. <laughs> Some of them are not available. But I want to share with you my team of support that you know helps me move through and move through my life, not just moving out of that place of fear and trauma and survival mode, but into thriving. So where do I want to start with that? Hmm. So let's just talk to, let's talk about how I have my team and then we'll go from there. So I have a team that I've broken up into different sections. So I have my like physical health team and then I have team brain, <laughs> as I like to call it. And team brain is um, around dealing with my emotional well-being and my emotional stability and helping me heal any particular trauma that I might be going through or reclaiming and moving out of those places of, um, like I said, surviving into thriving. And just in case you've never listened to me before and you're like, well, why would you be surviving? Um, so here's a little bit of a backstory. Um, I, so I experienced severe sexual abuse as a child, as well as severe uh, satanic ritual abuse as a child. So I have a huge background of trauma and, you know, moving out of that place of trauma and survival into thriving. So thanks for all the loves that I'm getting right now. My, my heart goes out. I feel so loved at the moment. So while I'm going through any time, you know, so what happens in my day to day? I'm like, la, 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 you know, I'm all happy and bubbly and life is good. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, I feel some resistance in life, right? So whether it might be showing up in my business, whether it might be showing up in my relationships, whether I'm not moving from a place of Zen and I'm now moving from this place of kind of control and, you know, anxiety. And these are usually a good indicator. I'm like, oh, there's something under the surface that is ready to be healed. 
So recently, um, I started in November, I decided that I was going to move out of uh, this place of survival, and I was going to heal something incredibly major, um, which was, you know, not throwing up when I traveled. And I thought, oh, this should be fairly easy. So that was in November, it's now April, I've just gotten to the other side of that. Because <laughs> there's a lot of moving pieces in there, underlining stuff that needed to be addressed and healed. Now, while I was doing that, as soon as stuff comes up and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to lean into this, I have my team, my, my three people that I go to to help me through that process. So the first person I go to is my neuroplasticity guy, my NLP guy, Nate Hager. All right, who is taking clients and is spectacular if you want to rewire, rewire your brain. And we want to rewire our brain so that we don't stay in those old patterns, those old loops. Okay. So that's step one for me in my team, team brain, <laughs> team awesome. <laughs> right? The next, the next person on my stop is like the maintenance management and helping to support me through releasing all the emotional stuff that comes up, all the blockages that come up is my dearest friend and colleague, um, you know, is Dana Farron. And she also is taking new clients. <laughs> so I highly, she is my go-to when I'm going through what I'm going through. And if I have any place where I'm having resistance, I pick up the phone and I call her and we have a session and she helps me clear stuff out and I'm good to go. Then the third person on my team is Lee Watson. And he is my sound guy and does sound, he's my sound practitioner guy. And so what happens is, is that every time I do a rewiring of my brain and then I do emotional stability, um, piece of it, then my DNA frequency needs to be recalibrated to be in line with what's happened in my brain and what's happening in my emotions. And my body needs to realign with that. So I go to Lee for some sound work and he helps the frequencies to be all in a line. So that's my team brain. Okay. This is what, this, this is my team. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, I'm an expert in trauma healing. Like that, that is one of my areas of expertise. People come see me for that reason. And so it's really important, and I think this is the premise of what I really want to get through to the show, is that even me as an expert in that field, that I need, I need support. And that having support doesn't make you weak doesn't make you less than it actually helps you be better at what you do it helps you show up in the world more and complete and more honestly and authentically so it's really important to have a team okay so i just you know having a team doesn't is you don't have a team because you're a mess and you're you're you, you don't know how to take care of yourself you have a team because you love yourself and that you need that external support and we all need that external support we can't do everything by ourselves we shouldn't do everything by ourselves we as we are feeling right now in this isolation period of time we are community tribal beings and we need community and we need connection all right, so we can't just be an island, all right, all the time. So let's move on to my team health. I have like, I also have this other team. So I talked to you about my team brain. Now I have my team health. So at the top of my team health, I have Pierre Black, who helps me with all of my nutrition and food and all of these kinds of things. Um, he's a fantastic fantastic healer um, in all things health body related as well as emotion you know energetic and all sorts of things um, you know he's traveled all over the world he, he's incredible so his name's Pierre Black and I believe he's also taking new clients so <laughs> you can see him as well <laughs> now the next person on my team unfortunately is not available to you guys <laughs> is my massage therapist David Chevalier 
And he helps my whole body uh, move through stuff, both emotionally, psychologically, and physically as I was. And it's important, I have a team health, and this is one of the reasons why I have team health, is because when I was 25, so over 20 years ago, I was in a major car accident. And um, in that major car accident, I should have, I should have been, you know, uh, doped up on heavy pain meds for the rest of my life, not be able to take care of myself. And, you know, so the fact that I do all the things that I do and I'm physically capable, it's because of this team health of supporting me to moving through again, moving out of that place in my body from thriving, or sorry, from surviving to thriving. Okay. So if you're like, oh, that must be easy. No, it was not easy for me. I couldn't, I couldn't even brush my own hair, you know? So it's really important to understand that it's through my team health that I've gotten to where I am. So next, so we got my massage therapist um, who is not taking new clients <laughs> right now. He's not able to see anybody. <laughs> so um, I can't share him with you. <laughs> I'm willing to share the rest of my team, but not him. <laughs> And then next on my team health, and this has been crucial part, is my personal trainer. And my personal trainer, she is spectacular. Her name is Steph, and I can't pronounce her last name properly, but her company is called Step It Up. And I will have all of my team's uh, contact info in the show notes so you can reach out to them. Um, now, Steph has been incredible to push me. I have a session with her later today. <laughs> so if you're watching Steph, I love you. Be nice. <laughs> um, and she's been incredible because she works hand in hand with my massage therapist. And because I had so many injuries, um, I needed somebody that could specialize in being able to adapt just so that we could still move and strengthen my body and meet my goals, my health goals and my body's goals. And th with her, between her and the rest of my team, this last year, I went hang gliding. I did an open swim marathon. Uh, I went to the trampoline park. Uh, I went indoor skydiving. All of these things that could, should, should have never, ever happened. And this year, I'm up in the ante. So, you know, yay, team physical health. So that's my team. You know, that's my, like, core team of help my body, help my brain. Now, again, why do we need a team? Well, we need a team because we can't do it by ourselves. We need a team because we shouldn't do it by ourselves. We need a team so we don't feel alone. And we need a team so that we can feel supported and held and loved. And in those moments where we are incredibly struggling, we're struggling, we're having a hard time moving through, whether it's psychologically, emotionally, physically, energetically, whatever it is, and we're having a hard time moving out of that place, that's why you want your team of professionals that know how to do that. It's great, and it's important to have your A team of friends who you can call up and love you unconditionally and support you unconditionally. And, and that's incredible. And that's a really important piece to have, but you also need your professional team of support who have your back and have the skill sets to help you move out of that place of wherever you happen to be. You know, they're there to call you out on your shit. They're there to push you, push you a little bit further. Now, some of you who have teams may not have been able to spend time with your team members. Like I haven't been able to see my massage therapist because of what's going on. And then that caused a lot of distress for me because he's part, he's a crucial part of my team. And I actually, I'm going to own that I went into a full on panic 
and I've had to actually work through my body. I have mantras and affirmations and all sorts of stuff that I'm doing, you know, cognitive reprogramming around, you know, my body is strong and healthy, even if I can't have massage because he was a crucial part of anchoring in. So sometimes our team, we can't have access to our team. It causes us more distress. So you need to adapt. You need to figure out new ways of doing things. Um, a lot of the people that may be on your team, you may not be able to, like my nail people, for example, is it a crucial part of my um, feeling uh, beautiful and sexy and, um, and you know yeah beautiful and sexy and you know i can't see my nail people right now and that caused you know that caused me some serious distress so i was like okay how am i going to figure this out how am i going to adapt how am i going to be flexible which i think is the next podcast that i think we'll we'll do is talking about adapting and flexibility um through a time where your routines and your things that you usually do, you're not capable of doing and why that's causing us so much distress. So I think that's going to, I'll hold off until our, my next, our next podcast. I think that it'll be a good conversation. All right. So the moral of today's story, <laughs> here's <a> teachable moment. <laughs> Figure out who is your team? Do you have a team of professional people in your life? If you don't have a team of professional people in your life, um, you can borrow some of my team members. Um, and you know, they, a lot of them all you know, work right now virtually, so no matter where you are in the world. And, um, and start to research and start to create that, those places in your life where you feel like it would be great to have support, emotionally, psychologically, physically energetically depending on you know uh, what your spiritual beliefs are energetically right find those people you deserve to have a team of amazing people helping to support how amazing and awesome you are in and helping to bring out the best version of you so that you don't have to stay in those places that yeah, you're good. It's good. But you deserve to be spectacular, fabulous, amazing, epic, awesome. <laughs> right? And if you need support around relationships, sex, healing, uh, trauma, all that kind of stuff, and you want me to be on your team, I'm always available as well. <laughs> all right. So I love you. And this is a quick, here's our, you know, how all the ways in which you can spend some time with me. So don't forget to download my app, um, my orgasmic life app, so that you can have my podcast at the tip of your fingertips always, no matter where you are. You can also find my orgasmic life um, podcast on all of the on all of your favorite podcasting platforms to spend more time with me, whether it's online courses, education, coaching, you can find me for all of your sexual wellness needs. You can find me at succulentliving.com for all of your BDSM education and needs. You can find me at empressgaia.com on social media, Gaia Morissette and Empress Gaia. And oh, also, I am hosting, I start, I, I have recently started hosting Tickle Dot Life's podcast. So, you know, you can find that on Spotify and Apple and at Tickle Dot Life. And it's a cool show. So I highly recommend catching, you know, coming and listening. So that's it. That's all. I love you all. Thanks for playing with me today. Thanks for watching me today. Thanks for listening to me today. And thanks for your comments and your support and your love. And my heart is filled with so much gratitude that you come and play with me. All right, that's it, that's all. Mwah. And I'll put all of my team members that are available for sharing <laughs> in the show notes. Bye-bye.